Hello everyone and welcome to another class here on Rumbo al Inglés. I'm Hannah, your teacher. How are you today? Fine, thank you. I'm doing fine, thank you. I always like to ask you how you're doing and I hope you respond. Espero que contestes and you say, I'm fine, Hannah. And you? Okay, bien. Well, let's say hello to Ruben, my favorite and my loyal student here. Hi, Ruben. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Oh, what are you doing? Um, what are you doing? <laughs> I drink water. Repeat. I drink water. Okay, I'm drinking water. Repeat. Okay, I'm drinking water. Yes, porque why did we use presente continuo y no presente simple? Because you said I drink water. Bebo, agua, presente simple. But I want to hear estoy bebiendo, right? I'm drinking water. Why uh -huh. presente continuo? Porque lo estoy haciendo. Exacto. Bien, good. Ah. So remember, we looked at present continuous and present continuous is what? Para acciones que se están haciendo en este momento. Okay. Right? So, repeat. I want you to drink. <laughs> and I say, okay, Ruben, what, what are you doing? I'm drinking water. Okay, good. You're drinking water. Okay, let's see. Ruben, what am I doing? Uh, you are drinking water. Water. It's water. Water. Yes, it's water. Si, es agua. Es agua. No, es, no, es water. Okay, bien. Good. So, I'm drinking water. Okay. If I say, Ruben, what am I doing? Uh, you are writing. Good. I'm writing. Estoy escribiendo. Bien. So, remember, with present continuous, presente continuo, es el tiempo verbal for actions, acciones, que se están uh, realizando o pasando uh, ahora. Okay, o en este momento. So mm -hmm. again, I'm drinking. Hmm. Estoy bebiendo. And how do we create la formula? What's the formula for presente continuo? Do you remember, Ruben? Do you remember? Um, presente. Good, el verbo to be. So the verb to be in presente plus, o sea, más. Presente continuo. O oh, más. Otro verbo en gerundio. Más as, claro. Exacto. So, let me repeat. Repito. Es el verbo to be en presente más otro verbo en gerundio, forma de gerundio. O sea, un verbo con ing. I-N-G. Ok, so again, I'm writing. Estoy escribiendo. I'm writing. Negativo. I'm not writing. No estoy escribiendo. I'm not writing. Y después... Are you writing? Estás escribiendo. Are you writing? And remember, con el verbo to be, para preguntas, cambiamos el orden. Right? Ponemos el verbo y después ponemos el sujeto. So, are you writing? Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, bien. Are you drinking? Uh, no, I'm not. Bien. Are you writing? No, I'm not. Are you sitting? Uh, yes, I am. Okay, good. <laughs> am I sitting? Uh, yes, you are. Are you standing? Uh, no, I am not. Am I uh, standing? No, you are not. Okay, bien. So again, presente continuo is a, is a verb to be in presente más gerundio. Okay, bien. Okay. okay, good. Now, we're going to continue with presente continuo, with present continuous, and with new vocabulary. Okay, so with okay. new vocabulary. Mm -hmm. So, let's look at our vocabulary for today. Vocabulario para hoy. Let's begin. So, we have with, which is con. Okay. We have office, oficina. Secretary, report. And ojo, report, tiene el acento, énfasis in the second syllable. The second syllable, report. Okay, report, not report. Porque todo el mundo dice report. Oh, este es un informe muy importante. This is a very uh, important uh, report. This is a very uh, an important report. No, no, no. It's report. Report. Okay, bien. Continue. Speaking, which is hablando un idioma. Speaking. Okay. Talking to which is hablando con, talking about, hablando de, talking on the phone, hablando por teléfono, listening to, escuchando, and finally we have looking at, mirando. 
Right, so bien. So remember these verbs. We have a lot of verbs today. Speaking, talking mm -hmm. to, talking about. So let's practice using this vocabulary with present continuous. Y con este dibujo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. More drawings, more pictures. Okay. okay, so look at this picture. Observe. Take a look. Mm -hmm. So this is, a ver, this is Philip Johnson. Mm -hmm. This is Nigel Perkins, and this is the secretary. The secretary. Okay, so, Ruben, is Philip Johnson in New York? Uh, no, uh, he is not. Where is he? Um, he is in uh, London. Good, he's in London. I don't know if you can see, no sé si podéis ver por aquí, está mm -hmm. Big Ben, right? Está, no es tan grande, pero <laughs> es aquí. Big Ben, aquí. So there, in London. Philip is in London. He's in London. Okay, bien. Is he with Nigel Perkins or Pierre Monet? Um, he is with uh, Nigel Perkins. Good. And notice with with. Good. Um, repeat with again. With. 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 Bien. So, um, be very careful because la pronunciación de with con es con una i corta. With. With. Not with, pero with. Cortita. With. With. Bien. Okay, good. Now, is he sitting or standing? He's sitting. Good. Is he sitting at a table or on a train? Uh, he's sitting um, at. At. At? Yes, at a table. A table. Sí, 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 sí. So, decimos when we say um, sitting así, I'm sitting at a table. La preposición at. Okay, okay, to sit at a table. So he's sitting at a table. Is he sitting in an office? Uh, yes, he is. Okay, good. Is he speaking English or Spanish? He's speaking English. Good, bien. Now, can we say um, he's talking English? Can we say that? No. 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, good. What's the difference? Guess la diferencia. Why do we say speak uh, English or speak Japanese, speak German? ¿Por qué? Porque we used to speak when we talk about hablar un idioma. Okay, we can't use talk para, you know, idiomas. For everything else, en realidad son muy parecidos. To speak and to talk son iguales. Pero when we talk about idiomas, languages, mm -hmm. then we have to use el verbo to speak. Okay, nunca decimos to talk. English, nunca. All right, so bien. So is he speaking English or Spanish? He's speaking English. Good. Okay. Is he talking to Nigel or to the secretary? He's talking to Nigel. Bien. So hablando con is to talk to. And again, so we used to talk cuando hablamos de el verbo hablar con una persona. Okay, so hablando con una persona. We used to talk. So again, he's talking to Nigel, right? Yes. He's not talking to the secretary. Bien. Now, is he looking at Nigel or at the secretary? Uh, he's looking at Nigel. Good, very good. So again, to look at Mirando, so he's looking at Nigel. Is Nigel listening to Philip? Or to the secretary. Um, he's uh, uh, listening. Repeat. He's listening to him. Okay, good. He's listening to him. He's listening to Philip. Okay. To okay. Philip. Okay, bien. So Ruben said listening to. Con el verbo to listen, la T es muda. Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know that you love, quieres mucho a las letras y quieres you know, pronunciar las todas, sí, pero la T es muda. So, se escribe L-I-S-T-E-N, pero la T es muda. So, repeat, it's listen. 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 Bien, okay, ahora en casa, vosotros. Let's see you say, uh, listen. Let's hear you say, listen. Listen. Okay, bien, so sin la T. Okay, so let's repeat. Is Nigel listening to Philip or to the secretary? Uh, he's listening to Philip. Good, to Philip. Bien. So remember the verbos. Notice here we say to look at 
right? Y to listen to, right? Llevan preposiciones, to look at y to listen to. Bien. Okay, now, is Philip talking about the report or about the secretary? He's talking about the report. Bien, very good. So talking about, talking about the report. Bien. So again, when we say hablar de alguien o de algo, then we say to talk about, literalmente hablar sobre, okay, mm -hmm. in English. Mm -hmm. And remember the pronunciation, report. The second syllable, report. 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 Okay, bien. Todo el mundo dice report. Report. No, mal, mal, mal. Report. Segunda sílaba. Okay, mm -hmm. good. Now, what is the secretary doing? What is the secretary doing? She's uh, speaking by phone. Okay, it's better to say she's talking on the phone. Uh -huh. Mejor. She's talking. She's talking on the phone. Bien, she's talking on the phone. Okay, good. Is she sitting or standing? She's sitting. Good. Is she sitting? Repeat. She's sitting. Bien, sitting, <laughs> casi oigo un, oigo un taco ahí. No, no. Okay, so be very careful. Ten mucho cuidado con la palabra sitting, sentado, sentada. Sitting es una S como serpiente. So, dos cosas. We don't put E delante, la E fantasma, lo que llamo yo. I'm from Spain. No, I'm from Spain. Empieza con la S. I'm from Spain. So, she's Sitting, not a sitting, la e fantasma, no. And also, cuidado con um, el sonido de SH. We don't want to say shh, ok, con eating, porque eso es otra palabra, que es un taco. ¿Vale? So we want sitting, repeat, sitting. S sitting. Good, bien, S. Ok, so is, is the secretary sitting or standing? She's sitting. Bien. Ok, is she sitting in an office or on a bus? She's S uh, sitting in the office. Okay, in an office. In an office. Okay, bien, good. Is she speaking English or Japanese? I don't know. Probably English. Probably English. <laughs> okay, uh, she's uh, speaking English. Very good. Okay, good. Now, is she looking at uh, Nigel or at her computer? She's uh, looking at the computer. Okay, very good. Okay, good. Now, uh, let's repeat. So, is Philip speaking English or Spanish? He's speaking English. Good. Is he talking about the report or about the weather? He's uh, talking about the report. Bien. Is he looking at the secretary or at Nigel? He's uh, looking at Nigel. Bien. Is Nigel sitting or standing? He's standing. Is he looking at Philip or the secretary? He's looking at Philip. Good. Um, what is he doing here? What is he doing? What's this? He's smoking. Exactly. Está fumando. He's smoking. He's smoking. Bien. Is he standing in an office or in the street? He's standing uh, in the office. Okay, in an office. In an office. Okay, in una oficina. Okay, bien. Okay, is Philip sitting or standing? He's sitting. Good. Is he talking to Nigel or to the secretary? He's talking to Nigel. Bien. Is he talking on the phone? Uh, no, he's not. Okay, good. Is he talking to the secretary? No, he's not. Okay. Is he looking at the secretary? Uh, no, he's not. Is he eating? No, he's not. Is he drinking? No, he's not. Okay, is he standing? No, he's not. Is he sitting? Yes, he is. Bien, okay, good. Is Nigel standing? Yes, he is. Is he talking on the phone? No, he's not. Is he talking about the report? Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. Is he looking at Philip? Yes, he is. Is he eating? No, he's not. Is the secretary talking on the phone? Yes, she is. Good, yes, she, she is. is. Bien. Is she sitting? And yes, she is. Is she sitting in an office or on a plane? She's uh, sitting 
in the in an office. Okay, very good. Okay, bien, excellent job. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Muy bien. So again, we looked at secretary with office speaking un idioma. Speaking is para idiomas. Mm -hmm. Then talking about talking uh, on the phone. Okay, talking to right mm -hmm. and listening. Oh, listening to y looking at. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. Bien. And also, secretary, secretary, a ver, secretaria. We have two pronunciations, dos pronunciaciones. It depends where you're from. Americans say secretary, secretary, con cuatro sílabas. Now, if you're from England or from the UK, uh, del Reino Unido, they say secretary, secretary. So, casi tres sílabas, secretary, tres sílabas. But both are good. Okay, okay, you can say both. Las dos formas mm, sirven. Okay, bien. Now, we're going to look at um, our last class. We're going to review a little bit of what we did from our last class. Okay. Do you remember our trip? Nuestro viaje a la playa? <laughs> okay. Sí, fue muy corto. <laughs> exactly. Sí, fuimos y volvimos. So, we went with some friends, con algunos amigos, en una caravana, un, right, in a van, and we went to the beach. Fuimos a la playa. And remember, in this dibujo, in this picture, again, we looked at present continuous, con mm -hmm. el verbo to sit, right? Estar sentado, estar sentado. Okay. And also, we looked at three prepositions. Next to, ¿qué es? Uh, al lado de. Bien, okay. In front of. Delante de. Bien, good. So, ojo, cuidado. Be very careful. Con delante de, it's in front of. Right? Mm -hmm. In front of, no es enfrente de, es ojo. And also, que, uh, detrás de. Behind. Bien, okay, good. And again, ojo with detrás. Nunca lleva preposición. We never say detrás de, con in, in inglés, behind of. No. no, simplemente behind. Okay, very good. So, let's take a look at these. Now, yo estoy aquí, right? Yo, la profe. Y tú estás aquí, Rubén, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Okay. Bien. So, for example, is the driver, el conductor, is the driver sitting in front of Juan or behind him? Uh, he's uh, sitting in front of Juan. Good. In front of him. him. Front okay, of him. bien. So, yes. remember también, in this class we looked at que complementos, right, que son, uh, pronombres que son complementos, mm -hmm. right? So, detrás de él, uh, delante de ella y tal. Mm -hmm. So, van después el verbo. So, we say me, you, him, her, it, como el gato, us, you, y them. Okay. All right? So, esos son los pronombres que son uh, complementos. So, again, is... Mm, a ver, uh, oh, so, are you sitting in front of the driver or behind the driver? I'm sitting behind the driver. Behind, behind him. him. Sorry. Okay, bien, el pronombre. Okay, behind good. Him, behind Detrás him. de él. Okay, bien, so I'm sitting behind him. Um, am I sitting in front of you or behind you? Um, you are sitting in front of me. Okay, very good. Now, is the cat, el gatito, remember el gato era de, de Juan, no, de alguien. <laughs> so, is the cat sitting behind you or in front of you? It's uh, sitting um, behind me. Very good, behind me. Okay, are Javier and Inez sitting in front of the driver or behind the driver? Uh, they're sitting behind him. Good, behind him. Good. Am I sitting next to? Striking. Is that, am I sitting next to Sarah? Uh, yes, you are. Are you sitting next to Raquel? Yes, I am. Good. Is Raquel sitting in front of Ines? Uh, yes, she is. Good. Yes, she is. Is Raquel sitting behind Sarah? Uh, yes, she is. Good. Is Pablo sitting in front of Sarah or behind Sarah? He is uh, sitting in front of her. Good. Are you and I sitting in front of the driver or behind him? Uh, we're sitting behind him. Good. Is Javier sitting in front of the cat or behind it? He is uh, sitting 
in front of it. Good. Um, where is Inez sitting? Uh, she is uh, sitting mm -hmm. next to Javier. Oh, okay, bien. She's sitting next to Javier. Okay, where's the driver sitting? Um, he is sitting in front of us. Okay, very good. Okay, where's Pablo sitting? He is sitting next to Juan. Okay, very good. Okay, now, are Javier and the cat sitting in front of you or behind you? They're sitting behind me. Good. Are Juan and I sitting in front of the driver or behind the driver? You're sitting behind him. Good. Repeat, behind. 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 Behind Okay. Me. Behind, behind him. him. <laughs> yeah, behind him. Okay, very good. Okay, are Inez and Raquel sitting in front of Sarah or behind Sarah? They're sitting behind her. Behind her. Okay, good. Are Pablo and Juan sitting in front of the cat or behind it? They're sitting in front of it. Very good. Okay, are you and I sitting in front of um, Javier and the cat or behind them? We're sitting. We're, repeat, we're. We're, we're, we're sitting in front of them. Okay, very good. Muy bien. Mm. Okay, excellent job. Okay, great job. Now, so remember, we looked at what? We looked at pronouns, okay? Mm -hmm. Pronouns which are used as objects, okay? So, okay. pronombres que son como complementos. So, remember, me, you, him, etc., etc. So, si te digo, ¿qué estoy haciendo? What am I doing? Eh, what am I doing? You are giving it. Oh, you're giving a quien? Me. Yeah, you're giving me. A book. A book. Yes, yeah, so let's repeat. Okay, Ruben, what am I doing? You are giving me a book. Okay, bien, let's repeat. Okay. okay. What am I doing? You are giving me a book. Okay, bien. Okay, devuélvemelo. Give it back. <laughs> okay, what are you doing? I am giving you a book. Okay, good. So, I'm, repeat, I'm. I'm giving you a book. Okay, good. So, what am I doing? You are giving me a book. Okay. And, and what are I, you doing? I am giving you a book. Okay, bien. So, me, you, me, you. So, those are, again, pronouns that are used as objects. So, object mm -hmm. pronouns. Okay, bien. So, if I say, traduce, translate. If I say, estoy dándole a él un libro. I'm giving him a book. Bien. Estoy dándoles un libro. I'm giving them a book. Good. Estoy dándole a ella un libro. I'm giving her a book. Good. Ellos están dándonos un libro. They're giving us Good. a book. Good. Okay, bien. Están dándole a él un libro. They are giving... There, you see contraction. They're, they're giving him a book. Bien. Okay. Están dándole a ella un libro. They're giving her a book. Okay, excellent job. Okay, bien, <laughs> <Thank> good. <laughs> so, remember the pronombres. Como complementos. We have me, you, him, her, it, us, you, y them. And siempre van después del verbo, right? No son como sujetos, all right? So, very good. So, we looked at that. And it's very important to practice. Very okay. important. So, me. Right? You, etc., etc. Repeat and practice. I'm giving you a book. He's giving me a book. Okay, bien. All right, well, our time's up for today. Yeah. Ruben, thank you for what, uh, coming to class. <laughs> and thank you for watching. Okay, so today we did present continuous. We reviewed our last class, prepositions, and complementos como pronombres. So practice all of this, and we'll continue with this with more present continuous in our next class también. All right, so thank you for watching, and remember, what do we say? Well, I may be a beginner, but not for long. Bye-bye. See you next time.